What's going on, ladies and germs? Smith with Deep back at you once again. Thank you for joining me. This is episode two of my Monster Hunter World Let's Play. Uh, this is exactly where I left off in the last episode, so let's get right back into it. Let's see what this guy wants. Let's see. There's something important I need to talk to you about. This commission is special, different from your past undertakings, if I had to take a guess. The hell's that supposed to mean? It's not about hunting down the Yellow Dragons or punishing them for the damage they cause. The Commission seeks an understanding of their place in nature, and ours. That's the point. The Elder Dragons are nature, and it's as futile to try to punish nature as it is to run from it. That's very true, Mother well, Nature's a bitch. But knowing nature, now that's something we can do. We're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be clear. Thank you, Confucius. What this world needs is harmony. But, before you take life or move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. I can't be a warlock or a titan. Well, hunter is the master race. Alright, let's go ahead and visit a smithy. There you are, Flavor. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Okay, so... Upgrade our equipment. Yes, yes, I already know all this. Uh, ooh, let's see. Sweet, got our level two katana. Greetings, I'm the airship engineer with the 2nd fleet. I work on flying machines, airships, and what have you. I'm sure you're curious about why you haven't seen a member of the 3rd yet. That's because they've all been stranded for years. That sucks. It wasn't long after the scholars from the 3rd landed before they insisted upon crossing the Great Ravine. So they got their ship converted into an airship and off they went. Why well, don't they just come with an airship to begin with? It was going well until just after they crossed the ravine. A flying monster, named Tinkerbell, attacked their airship and grounded them. Sure, they were reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't help but feel partly responsible for it all. Uh, yeah, you think? Ever since then, I've been working on making a better airship. One that we could use to go rescue them. Side quest! But between the new world's nasty weather and the strong winds hurling down the ravine, it's been one failure after another. Still, uh, oh, whoops, shit, click A one too many times. Boy, the translation, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's nowhere near as bad as someone set us up the bomb, but you, know, you can still tell there's a little bit of English left in there. You interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest, and the menu will be more packed than a great Jagger's belly. Finish that one up, and I'll be able to get my paws on the goods. Don't let me down. Okay. I don't know if I want a cat pawing at my food. Get it? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead. Ooh. Meat ladder. Let's go to meat. Increase our health a little bit. Oh my god, that looks fucking delicious. <laughs> nice. Hey there, partner. Right, so the next thing we need to take care of are those Kestadens. Chief said he'd be tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the anal forest and go from there? <laughs> Oh, and I got some good news. We handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board. You can sign up for quests there too, so you don't always have to come all the way up here. Oh, but I won't get to talk to you, cutie pie. 
But then again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. <laughs> oh, I like to eat that all right, if you know what I mean. You can pick up quests from the quest board, too. It lists the same quests that I've got, so don't worry about having to check two places. We're on the right. hunt! Let's head to the anal forest and research those kestetons. Next quest, a Kestadin Kerfuffle. Kerfuffle. Kerfuffle? Actually, uh. Hang on, before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and equip my. Armor. That's what I want. I'm gonna keep the leather headgear because I kind of like the way the goggles look. Okay, here we go. And as usual, I did out all the loading screens. Okay, our job is to call a certain number of Kestodon. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of hand. Want to get going? I'm full. Alright, so as usual, I'll do my best to keep the commentaries to a minimum. This is a very beautiful world, and I want to be immersed in it. Don't want to talk over it. Ah, there we are. Those, my friend, are Kestodon. Let's see you take him out on your own. Oh, shit. I'm at the side dodge. Dodge right into that. Kia, bit. Oh, what a whiff. It's a good time to capture these guys. All right. Yoink. Let's look for another group. <laughs> oh, that's a two for right there. The least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. Be careful. The endemic life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. By the way, I gotta get used to using a melee weapon again. Um, on my main character, I've been using nothing but the bow, and it's super fun. Also, I gotta get in the habit of sharpening my weapons again, because uh, the bow does not have this requirement. It's pretty sweet. I might switch to the bow in later episodes, or or actually, uh, just let me know what weapons you guys would like to see, and I'll try to oblige. Over here! Ooh, excuse me, pardon me. Be careful. Go ahead and mind this real quick. Okay. Wrong button. Ah, shit. Shit, dude. Damn it. Taking this big ass one, then the other one just charge attack me. 
God damn, that's fucking rude. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, they're kicking my ass. Oh man, I gotta get used to using melee weapons again. I don't gotta shake off the rust. God damn it, you fucking asshole. Fucker. Ugh. What? Oh shit, it's already dead. Don't hit the kitty. Good work. That just about wraps up our work here. Wait. Hey, come here. I think I found something. Sweet. Ancient bones, always nice. And bev up. Here. Hmm. Look at those Kestodon. Something's up with them. <laughs> Oh, that is nasty. Gotcha. All right, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the great Jagras quest later. Want to get going? Oh, fuck that. I'm killing that sucker now. If you need to call your friends for help, go to the menu and select SOS Flare to signal them. And you're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. Good. You're turning up a lot of clues. Shit, am I going the right way? I got the attention span of a three-year-old. It's like playing Skyrim all over again. I'm gonna go and pick up everything, you know? <laughs> Ooh, a butterfly. Ooh, a piece of candy. Oh, I think I found the trail. There he is, I see him. Okay. We've tracked the great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use a phone scan. Oh shit, is it already fucking dull? It didn't take very long. 
That's the main downside to the uh, katana. It's it's fast and it does okay damage, but man, does it loses his edge quick. Damn it! It's really hard to connect with that hit. Just gotta follow his trail. This is my only gripe with the game is uh this is probably a in every Monster Hunter game, but I'm just not used to used to it I guess. You gotta fucking chase down every every one of these big monsters. They love to run away. Oh fuck, you just ain't another fucking... Whatever the fuck. There we go. Actually, let's see if we can jump on top of it. Ah, what a whiff. Oh, this is great. Come on, come on! Hook! Ah, oh, damn it, I missed again. Far away enough. Let's try that again. Oh, shit. Actually, that was a good time to sharpen my weapon. Oh, never mind. Fucking little fuckers. Oh, spitting loogies at me. Thank God for Mew. Yeah, that's right. I need my cat after a Pokemon. Want to fight about it? Oh, that not count. Well, I didn't mount him. I did manage to stun him. What a finish, that was awesome. That was pretty cool. It's funny, I did better fighting this asshole than those, uh... Kestadins. And I think they're, they're generally considered passive until provoked, so... Whereas these guys, they'll just straight up attack you. Oh, you want some too, motherfucker? Oh, stop hitting the kitty. Damn it. I hate that. I know the cat doesn't take any damage, but it just makes me feel bad every time I hit him. Another job well done.
think we got a lead. Hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Here's our mark. Something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? By the way, I may or may not edit out these cutscenes because uh, I already got a copyright strike from Capcom for my first video. <laughs> so I may have to edit them out. Thanks a lot, Capcom. All right, let's head on back to the HQ. So, you think you found something that'll lead us to Zora Tally Vas Normandy? Well, I sent some researchers out right now, but not with a pissed off poopy poopy hanging around. Uh huh. Puke puke territory. That's pretty deep in the forest. <laughs> That's what she said. We'll be better equipped to take it on. Once our team from the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp, once it's ready, we make our move. Like Jagger. Till then, we do everything we can to help them get that camp up and running. Let's get to it. Leroy, I mean, field team up, leader. Puke puke. Hmm, I wonder where the resource center is. Okay, and that's going to be it for this episode. I'll do some farming off cam. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time, you guys take care, and I'll catch you on the flip side.